Hi, are you guys open? I'd like to get a mani-pedi. Yes, welcome. You're actually our very first customer. Oh, great. I'm really excited about this place. I've been going to Sal's salon, but they always have the longest lines. Well, no lines here. Uh, just go on back and Connie can help you. Great, thank you so much. Hi, come over here, please. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Yeah. By closing your shop and getting out of town. Um, I'm sorry? Hi, are you taking any walk-ins? Oh, yes, of course. You know, you really shouldn't be supporting foreigners, hon. And neither should you. I'm so sorry. Uh, go on back and, uh, Kim, can you please help her? Of course. Right this way, please. Is everything okay? Everything's fine, honey. You can go back to what you're doing. Why don't we go outside? Yeah, let's go outside. I don't understand where this is coming from. I mean, is something wrong? What's wrong is you and your people coming into this country. Look, we're not trying to start a competition with you. If that's what you're worried about, we're just trying to run our business. You think that you can compete with me? Look, that's my salon over there, all right? I got people waiting in line all day long. I'm not worried about some foreigner trying to compete with me. Okay, then what's the issue? The issue is you being in this country. You're not welcome here. Now you need to get out. Hey boss, uh, one of the registers isn't working. Can you come help out? Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. You lucked out today, sport. Because next time, I'm not gonna be so nice. What if he comes back? Maybe we should just move. You heard what happened and in- close down our shop that we just opened? Absolutely not. Well, what if things get worse? You saw how mad he was when he- Oh my gosh! What you doing? You are taking pictures now? Yes, as evidence. We need to keep a record of all this in case something happens. I don't want to wait around for something to happen. We need to move, son. I'm serious. Everything is going to be fine, honey. I promise. Can you please just get in the car? Please? I'm really worried, son. I don't feel good about this. Wow, they haven't even opened yet and they already have a line. Don't even look. I'm already scared that he's gonna come here, he's gonna... Oh my gosh, you scared me. Is everything okay? N no, it's not. You better come take a look. Oh no, I can't believe this. Son, how can you take pictures during a time like this? We need to gather all the evidence we can. What we need to do is get out of town. I don't feel comfortable here anymore. It's not safe for us, Rokim and Kangni. I'm so sorry you ladies have to deal with all of this. You know, go ahead and take the day off, and don't worry, you'll still get fully paid. Are you sure? How about you guys? You know, take my wife with you. I'll be fine. I just gotta stay here and document all of this. No. I'm not leaving without you. Please, let's just go. Forget about Salon. We'll figure something else out. No way. Our dream has always been to open our own Salon. And now that we have, I'm not gonna let some ignorant bully ruin that for us. Besides, we put our last dollar into this shop. But it's not safe, son. Please, just come home with me. Honey, if there's one thing I know for sure, is that in the end, love always wins. We can't give in now. We need to stand up for ourselves. It's the only way we're gonna stop Asian hate. We want to help too. Yeah, we can come back after we drop her off. No, you ladies all go home. 
I'll deal with this. Just trust me. But uh, please, honey. I'll be okay. I promise. I'll see you later, okay? After his wife left, Sun continues to take pictures and record everything that happened. Sun posts all of the pictures and videos he took on his Facebook and uses the hashtag StopAsianHate. Before long, that post quickly goes viral and so many different communities are outraged by what happened. They leave comments showing their support of Sun and his family. The post gets so big that it even attracts the attention of the news. They come out to Sun's shop and do a story on everything that happened. The story quickly hits all the news stations and people in the local community cannot believe what happened. And then the next day, Sun and his wife are in for a big surprise. I don't know about this, Sun. I really don't think it's a good idea. Everything's gonna be just fine. I promise. Now come on. That's weird. That's the first time I've seen Sal's shop without a line in front. What's going on? How do we have so many customers? Wow, this is unbelievable. Hey, that's them. We saw you on the news. We're so sorry to hear about what happened. Yes, it's absolutely terrible. We've come here to support you guys. Thank you. We can't tell you how much this means to us. I mean, really appreciate it. What's going on here? You see all my customers now? No, uh, they came here on their own. I guess they found out what kind of person you are. You can't be seriously supporting these people. They don't even belong here. Hey, man, they do belong here. Yeah, what you did wasn't cool. Yeah, you should never treat people like that. <laughs> you gotta be joking with me, honey. Sal Aaron? Yeah? You're under arrest. What? You can't arrest me? For vandalism and hate crimes. You don't have no proof that I did anything wrong. <clears throat> Actually, I do have proof. You see? I set up a camera outside and got everything you did on video. I've already turned it over to the police. This is not happening. This can't be happening. You should be taking him away. He doesn't even belong in this country. Get him out of here. Move. You were right, Tony. Right about what? That in the end, love always wins. I love you so much. Uh, I love you too. Uh, all right, come on, let's get everybody inside. Son, this is incredible. Hurry up, son, let's open. Uh, no, we're gonna have to hire more people right away. It's about a, a couple that just opened a new nail salon. On the first day that um, they're open, they get accosted by one of the neighbors. And your people coming into this country. You know, you, you got to play these kind of roles, you know, to tell the story. So hopefully this will bring light to some people who, who aren't aware. <laughs>